Hello everyone, today's video content is analysis of the real questions of the VMCE V12 exam and explanation of relevant knowledge points. The following test questions are all from our question bank and they were updated on September 4th, 2024. Exam content. Question 1. A Veeam engineer has configured a scale out backup propository with AWS. S3 is the performance tier. The engineer needs to ensure that backups older than 90 days are automatically moved to Glacier. What steps should the engineer take after configuring the capacity tier? The knowledge points of this question are SOBR configuration and storage tiering. This is about using Veeam storage tiering to manage backups efficiently. With SOBR, you can automatically move older backups from high-performance storage to more cost-effective storage. This helps save on storage costs while keeping your data safe and accessible. So the correct answer is... You need to set up a policy in Veeam that automatically moves backups older than 90 days to Glacier. This way, you don't have to manually move the backups the system will handle it for you. Question 2. In an environment using Veeam Agent for Microsoft Windows with Microsoft Exchange 2016, the databases are part of a database availability group. To ensure proper backup, what configuration is necessary? The knowledge points of this question are Veeam Agent for Microsoft Windows and DAG Configuration. This covers how Veeam handles backups in environments using Microsoft Exchange DAG. DAG ensures high availability for Exchange, and Veeam needs to back up all DAG members correctly to keep data consistent and reliable. So the correct answer is, To properly back up the databases in a DAG, you need to enable Exchange Aware Processing in Veeam's backup job. This ensures that Veeam correctly identifies and handles the DAG environment. Question 3. To optimize the performance of a backup job for a NAS file share located in a remote site, what strategy should an engineer implement? The knowledge points of this question are Backup optimization for NAS file shares at remote sites. Here the focus is on speeding up backups for NAS file shares at remote locations. By using a local backup proxy and cache at the remote site, you reduce the time and bandwidth needed for backups, making the process quicker and more efficient. So the correct answer is Deploying a local backup proxy and cache at the remote site speeds up the backup process, reduces the burden on the network, and saves bandwidth. Question 4. An administrator needs to change a backup copy job from immediate mode to periodic mode. What is the correct procedure? The knowledge points of this question are Changing the mode of backup copy jobs this is about how to change a backup job from running immediately to running on a schedule. This allows better control over when backups happen, which can help manage resources and meet recovery time goals more effectively. So the correct answer is, you can simply edit the existing backup copy job settings to switch from immediate mode to periodic mode without needing to create a new job. Question five. During a full VM restore, under which condition is the quick rollback option available? The knowledge points of this question are Conditions for quick rollback availability 
quick rollback lets you restore just the recent changes in a virtual machine, which is faster than restoring everything. It's handy when you need to fix something that went wrong after a recent update. So the correct answer is Quick rollback can be used to fix issues from a recent update by uplay restoring the changed data, making it faster without having to restore the entire VM. Question 6. Which API option allows for the automation of Veeam backup replication operations without using Veeam ONE? The knowledge points of this question are Automation of Veeam backup replication operations. This is about using Veeam's REST API to automate backup tasks. It's a way to make managing backups more efficient, especially in large environments where doing everything manually isn't practical. So the correct answer is You can use Veeam's REST API to automate backup tasks directly, making it efficient to manage backups without needing extra tools. Question 7. How can an administrator ensure that virtual machines start in a specific sequence during a failover process? The knowledge points of this question are Setting VM startup sequence during failover. During a failover, it's important to start your virtual machines in the right order. By setting a startup sequence, you make sure everything comes online in the correct order, avoiding issues with services that depend on each other. So the correct answer is By creating a failover plan, you can define the startup sequence of virtual machines, ensuring critical services come online in the correct order to avoid dependency issues. Question 8. What is a key benefit of installing Veeam ONE prior to deploying Veeam backup replication in an environment? The knowledge points of this question are the role of Veeam ONE before deploying Veeam backup replication. Veeam ONE can help spot problems in your infrastructure before you set up Veeam backup replication. This pre-check makes sure everything runs smoothly later on, preventing issues that could cause headaches down the road. So the correct answer is Veeam ONE can help you check your system for potential issues before deployment, ensuring the stability of the backup system. If you have any questions about the VMCE V12 exam, please leave a message in the comment area or contact us directly. Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.